Welcome back to the TV show, everybody. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart, both books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today I'm going to be reviewing Career of Evil, book number two in Robert Galbraith's Cormoran Strike mystery series. I've got five of the books. There's six books out now. I need to get book number six. But I like this series because I love British murder mysteries. And um, Robert Galbraith does a great job. Now, if you uh, know who Robert Galbraith is, well, it's uh, actually J.K. Rowling. It's the pseudonym J.K. Rowling writes her mysteries under. You know, and if you don't know who J.K. Rowling is, well, she wrote Harry Potter. She's a household name, folks. If you don't know who she is... Um, then, uh, I don't even know why you'd be watching this channel. Career of Evil, Robert Galbraith. Um, let's talk about the covers first. I, uh, I've always hated these covers. Oh my God. I usually keep this channel positive. I don't say negative things, but you know that if you followed my reviews of book number one, which is Cuckoo's Calling and book number two, Silkworm, I have I hated the graphic design on those first three books almost with a passion. I just don't like them. I actually kind of like the direction they took with the next three. I've got these two here, but the third, the other one uh, looks similar to those. Um, one of the things is though, when oh I dropped it on the floor. Gosh, let's go down and pick it up. Haven't, I'm, I'm, I'm already struggling, folks. I'm already struggling. The whole book is torn apart now. But let's look at these th first three books. You set them on the uh, shelf, and they look like they belong together. And then they take an entirely different um, approach to the covers. And then now we've got a mishmash of things. But that's still okay. That's okay. I don't mind that kind of thing um, too much. But I do like those covers way better. Anyway, let's talk about this book. I'll, I'll edit all the, the shitty parts of that out. Career of Evil, Cormoran Strike, and his sidekick Robin. Uh, Robin is... Cormoran Strike is a, is a war veteran, a Gulf War veteran. He got his leg blown off in the war, so he's got like a, a disability. And Robin is his uh, helper. They are investigate private investigators. And what happens is Robin, a box is mailed to Robin, and inside the box is a severed leg. Whose is it? Well, this is sort of like a uh, a play, uh, sort of like an insult to... Um, it's, a, it's a direct insult or a direct message to Cormoran because he's missing a leg. And someone mails a severed leg to his uh, partner. Whose is it? Um, and now Cormoran Strike has become a little bit of a pop here, cultural icon in and around London, just because he's this dashing, good-looking um, investigator who's lost a, a war hero, who's solved some pretty well-known cases. And so it's kind of a fad now, believe it or not. It's a fad for young girls to attempt to sever their own legs. Um in honor of Cormoran Strike. Now, most of them are named Eileen. Sorry, I had to. No, they're not all, the, the women with severed legs are not all named Eileen. They've got different names. But it's just a weird thing. Okay, every once in a while on the internet, like this weird fad, like will sweep the nation or the world where kids just do crazy stuff, crazy stuff. So many crazy things, we can't even name them all. But the fact, to actually want to sever your own leg in honor of, of like someone that's famous, that's just insanity. But that's kind of one of the side plots of this book. So anyway, um, it's not just legs that get severed. I mean, there's a serial killer on the loose, and this is the basis of this whole thing. Whose leg is it? Other body parts, there's other severed body parts that start. I mean, this is one of the more, this is actually the grimmest book so far of the group of, of the two I've read. 
This one's actually the bloodiest, the grimmest, the grossest. It's the goriest. There's a lot of things that get severed in this book, not just legs. And also, uh, so as, as our two main characters, Cormoran and Robin, are trying to solve these mysteries, they're starting to, you know, they just takes them on these adventures through the uh, English landscape and the London underground and different places. We also get to see the relationship between Robin and her fiancé. No, she's not in love with Cormoran yet. I have a feeling it might be coming down the road in later books. But she does have, she does, um... We did get to see the relationship between Robin and her fiancé get to play out, which is interesting. We get to see Cormoran's reaction to these things. It's just kind of a... I like I like these kind of books, I gotta tell you. I like British mysteries. I just, I'm just fascinated by them. I'll read the inside. When a mysterious package is delivered to Robin, she is horrified to discover that it contains a woman's severed leg. Her boss, Private Detective Cormoran Strike, is less surprised but no less alarmed. There are four people in his past who he thinks could be responsible, and Cormoran Strike knows that any one of them is capable of sustained and unspeakable brutality. While the police are focusing on one suspect, Strike is increasingly sure it is not that person who is the perpetrator. He and Robin take matters into their own hands and delve into a, the dark and twisted worlds of the other three men who are suspects. But more horrendous acts occur time is running out for the two of them this is a fiendishly clever mystery with unexpected twists and turns around every corner yes it is fiendishly clever i liked it i really like it i like the series i probably i don't know if i like it as much as harry potter but i like it in the context of mystery series i do so i'm going to give career of evil I w I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. I would give it a 9 out of 10 if the cover was even halfway decent. Sorry if I'm insulting the graphic design team that worked on this, but I don't like it. I just don't. I just, I think it's the typeface. That, that's what it is. It's the um, typeface. Not only that, but I don't really like the title. I don't like the cuckoo's calling. I don't like the silkworm. Career of Evil is a little better. Um, now, Lethal White is super dope. That's a great title. And Troubled Blood is all... It's all right. But anyway, that's my review of this.